The series started with three brothers with a similar goal, getting to the top of world football together. As the journey went on, things changed. It was El Clasico time, two brothers against one, Real Madrid against Barca. A question on many people's minds, would the brothers shake hands? Of course they would, they're still family. Both teams ready to go, who will prevail? Jed on the right played a ball into the box, it was deflected and fell to Vinicius Jr. He would strike it with his right foot and give Real Madrid the lead. The older brothers watching on couldn't believe their eyes. Barcelona came forward, having plenty of chances. Courtois prevented Manny from scoring. He also denied Frankie de Jong, but could only hold out for so long as Manny played Ansu Fati through and he equalised for the away side. A fantastically timed run from Jed saw him lose his man with the chance to get his side in front. He fired it past Ter Stegen and despite his last celebration, he chose this time not to celebrate against his brothers. A touching moment, but it was still a battle. Toby with a clean, crunching tackle on his brother Jed. Toby broke away from Mendy and slotted the ball into Manny's path. A sure goal, but for Rudiger, perfect timing. Real Madrid narrowly edged the result and Jed would leave on the winning side. Ancelotti was more than pleased. Jed praised his teammates for their efforts in a huge game. There was plenty more to come. Real Madrid began to go full steam ahead, winning 2-0 against Valladolid. Jed with the opener and Vinny to finish the job. Jed's hot streak went on with yet another consecutive goal, now five goals from an upgrade. Late into the UCL, Valverde cut the ball back for Jed as he gave Real Madrid a narrow victory. He couldn't believe how far he'd come, getting man of the match in a Champions League game. The following game was away to Espanyol where Jed grabbed the first goal as he continued his great form. Espanyol got back into it with a delightful chip. Madrid would later regain the lead through Karim Benzema. Jed would finish off the game with a stunning Travella free kick. Real Madrid officially had a star on their hands, two goals till his next upgrade. Lewandowski took player of the month despite Jed's eye-catching performances. With nine goals in seven games, he had outdone Real Madrid's new star. International duty for Jed taking on China. England got a 1-0 result. Brazil was the next friendly for England and Jed was on the score sheet after taking the ball past the Brazilian goalkeeper. England couldn't do enough and were hammered 3-1 by a 10-man Brazil. Back to the Bernabeu and Real Madrid's star-studded lineup. Elche had a real chance smacking the post. The more experienced and clinical side, Real Madrid punished them as Jed swept the ball in style for Vinny to tap in. Ancelotti couldn't believe how well the team was playing. Time for them to seal their spot in the knockout stages. Ajax versus Real Madrid. Major favourites for the tournament, could they deliver? Real knocked on the door time after time and time again. It was to no avail as the Ajax defence stood strong. A draw would be the final result. Wasteful in their next game, yet another draw. The Real Madrid shirt was a heavy one to wear and two bad performances could see you sidelined. Jed found that out the hard way. In the second half, Ancelotti gave the signal and Benzema would make way for Jed. In the 69th minute, Rio broke through and took an unexpected lead. They would later be awarded a penalty and Jed being given the armband by Ancelotti asserted his authority and took the penalty from Bruno Fernandes. The fans awaited patiently as he readied his focus, took a breath and smashed it in, upgrading him from 89 to 90 rated. The stadium absolutely erupted. All the momentum was with the host as they pushed for the win. Vinny setting up Jed for a nice little header. Nine goals till his next upgrade. Levante at home now for Madrid and Jed would go on to produce his best ever performance in a white shirt and maybe his best performance ever. With Ancelotti ditching an aging Benzema and playing Jed through the middle, he might have found something special. Jed scored not one, not two, but five goals with three of them coming from the spot and Bellingham rounded off the goals with a lovely goal. Four goals till Jed's next upgrade, a match ball and plaudits from the manager. Was he getting closer to a Ballon d'Or? Real topped the UCL group but needed breathing space. They would have to beat Ajax this time. In the second half, Real Madrid would have a corner and Jed had clearly been working on his heading. Leaping above the defender, he scored his third header in as many games. This boy was taking the world stage by a storm and leaving his doubters stunned as they watched from home. An incredible piece of skill would set Vinny up and Real would gain the three points. Vinny stating after the game that Jed was one of the best players he'd ever played alongside. All these performances had people talking. Was he really the best around? It was also only a matter of time for his first player of the month award in La Liga. At this point, he was three goals away from his next upgrade. Alongside that, Jed was now the top scorer in the league with 13 goals and two ahead of Lewandowski. At the same time, Real would leap one position above Barca into first place. The boy couldn't stop scoring, putting another two past Sociedad. One goal till his next upgrade. Resuming England duties, they now had a friendly against Denmark. 
Exceeding expectations, the run continued with Jed scoring after some nice trickery. A new upgrade for him as well, from two star to three star weak foot. He later doubled up as they defeated the Danes. England went on to beat Scotland 1-0. Jed denied by the goalkeeper, actually failed to score. Valencia came to the Bernabeu with bright hopes. Those quickly got killed as Vinny tapped it into an empty net. With Dortmund away and the yellow wall in full force, Real Madrid failed to turn up, falling to a humbling defeat. Back to the league and a chance to bounce back. Using his electrifying pace, Jed burst past the goalkeeper and dinked it into an empty net. Everything he was touching was turning to goals, bagging a second in the game. Doing bits on and off the pitch, he donated to some youth sports centres, showing love to the younger generation. Nominated for Player of the Month for a second time, could he pick up the award twice in a row? Fans were flooding from all over the world to see Jed play live, and as usual, he put on a show, scoring a chip from the spot, then following up with a perfectly placed shot, 2-0 Madrid. Jed won Player of the Month again and thanked the fans. The final group game in the UCL, Real or Dortmund, who would finish top? It took a late goal from the main man to give Real the win. Still, it would only grab them second place. That goal as well means he's four goals from his next upgrade. Bottom of the league, Mallorca, who had just eight points, would be the next opponents. Surely an easy win. Bruno Fernandes put Vinny through and he returned the pass to Fernandes, who finished it in style. Mallorca wouldn't go without a fight. They'd won a penalty and Lee Kang In put it past Courtois. Ancelotti was fuming at his team's blatant complacency. It was the last he wanted to see of that. They were still ahead of Barca, but couldn't afford to slack. Jed scored the only goal against Hatafe, and things were back on track. The Team of the Year shortlist had been leaked and Jed was nowhere to be seen. Despite this, he picked up his third player of the month in La Liga, three in a row. Real dropped two more points, drawing with Villarreal. Barca now just two points behind. They would play at home in unusual settings with the snow falling at the Bernabeu. Jed beat the goalkeeper, but couldn't beat the defender on the line. What a great block. 1-0 down, a ball in from Bruno met Jed's left boot, connecting with a sweet volley. The striker then added a sublime chip which was sure to be the winner. Wrong, Mallorca would fight back and in their bid to avoid the drop, they'd take the game. With money to burn, Jed bought himself a mansion. Was he trying to fill the void or distract himself from the poor results? Who knows? The super couple was here and it was Real against Bilbao. Real took the lead with a Vinny tapping and Bilbao bounced back. Jed put his side back in front, striking it in off the post. Bilbao though had more in the tank and scored another three goals. Final score, 4-2, defeating the Giants. For Jed, he was scoring but wasn't fulfilled as the results were continuously declining. An upgrade earned though, he'd spend it on his weak foot, going from three star to four star, more goals incoming. Barcelona would go a point ahead and leave Real with plenty of work to do. Leaking goals, they dipped back into the market, signing two top defenders, Matias De Litt, and also the experienced Marquinhos. With the two new signings, Real would go on to keep a clean sheet and have a 1-0 in the Madrid derby against Atleti. They followed that up with another 1-0 win against Bilbao, courtesy of a Jed goal. Barca was still leading by a point. Would the title race go to the wire? Find out in the next episode. Why they asking me if hard work pays off the proofs in the pudding? How'd I get where I got? Check the work that I put in.